Yo guys, what is going on? It is TC or Darcy back here, and as you guys can see, I do have a full inventory of stuff right now. So, we're going to go straight away and build the base like I told you we would be doing in today's episode. So, let's do this. So, you guys can see I've stored up a little bit of lead. Only six because I know it's mainly only used for the foundation, which is good. I thought it would be used for a lot of things, but it's not, so that's good. We've also got our, uh, our good old sea glider that's at full. I think we're going to work on getting a... Um, a sea moth for the next episode. I don't actually know how you do that, so we're gonna go about doing that somehow. All right, so now let's add another another foundation and construct that. It's gonna cost a load of lead to do it. Lead is a very very hard thing to find, so you know. All right, so we're gonna actually make it a, a two by two. Yeah, two by two sounds sounds good enough for now. And then we'll uh, and then we'll do some other building stuff on there. I don't actually know like what to build on these, so I'm just gonna build some stuff and. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully I do it correctly. I don't actually know how to build. I've not actually searched that up yet, so, you know. Alright, so we now got that done. Alright, so I'm guessing um, we've got to get a hatch, which is quartz and titanium. Alright, I thought it was glass, but it is quartz, so that means we've got to either find some, or I've got to go over here and see if we've got any in our boxes or in our base. So, I'll check that now. So, yes, I did make some boxes, as you guys can see, just to store some stuff in. While, uh, while we're out doing things. Alright, we got any quartz? Nope, we have salt in there. We've got uh, some quartz in the base. If not, we'll just go out and find some. They're not too hard to find. We also have a radio transmission that we will do in today's episode as well. We have one quart. Um, what else are we going to need quartz for when we do build? So, literally nothing. But we will get, we'll get some. Why not? Why not? Let's go out and get me some quartz. Alright, so... Um, absolutely insane guys by the way, if I can get this video out on the same day that I hope I can um, Support on today's stream. It wasn't a subnautica stream, but it was a rush stream it was absolutely insane. Just pointing that out guys um, I really appreciate you guys for all turning up for that Like you guys always do because you guys are always there on time. All right always absolutely awesome guys absolutely awesome got 40 viewers on that stream uh, Cannot complain at all man Alright, so usually the quartz are really easy to find. I think I'm just blind. Like, oh, there we go. Oh, that thing just scared the actual shit out of me. Go away, there's two of them. Oh. I escaped him, so we're all good. But we're good to get to get the one quartz that we need, so we're now gonna go up and uh Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use that quartz. To construct the next section of the base, which will be the hatch. I guess actually do you wanna do the hatch or the compartments first? I don't really know how this works, so I guess we'll do some compartments. I guess yeah we'll go with a we'll go with a a basic tubular compartment oh these are big I didn't know they'd be that big all right all right let's instruct this all right so we've got a basic tubular compartment so now when I do the hatch I can put the hatch on the side here there we go look that's what I was hoping you could do and you can so how do I go in there enter base all right emergency power only Oxygen okay. production offline. So I still redu uh, reduced oxygen in here. That's fine for now. Uh, until I find out how, how you go about doing that. But we have got the start of a base here. Obviously we're going to build more because it'd be stupid not to. Um, I guess at this point we kind of want to go... Do we go with another one? Another normal tube and then a connector at the end. and Or do we go literally... Just with putting on the T-shape, or do we go with this? I think this is probably the best option, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with this. Alright, so let's build this and swim to the surface at the same time. I think we can do that. Yep, we can. Okay. Alright. Oh. Try to deconstruct the foundation there. Alright, so what we'll do is get more titanium and stuff, and then we should be able to continue the base build. So that's that's the idea. Um, I know titanium is actually quite easy to get, and we do have quite a bit of... Uh, just about everything so we can get it quite easily. And I think we do have some in this over here. Um, in our boxes. That we created. Which are really small. And I think you can actually get bigger boxes in the base. I'm not I'm not sure on that. So don't quote me. But I believe you can. I'm not sure though. So don't quote me on that one. <laughs> Alright. Also guys. If you wanted to know how I got all this titanium. Metal salvage is absolutely awesome. For getting titanium. That's all I'm saying. Gets you four per one, so I was like, you know what, I'll take advantage of that and I'm going to use it. So, I did, and uh, now I've got a load of titanium to use. Alright, so, I now use like an L-shaped one, so I can now build around, or do I put one here? 
I put an L-shaped one here, how do I rotate it? Rotate is the right bracket. Ah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Now we've got to rotate one of them. Oh, don't want to construct that. We can now go with another L shaped compartment. Is there like big rooms? I don't know if there are. I'm just stupid. Alright, let's go back under. Uh, let's, let's bracket that. So we've now got that. Yep. Well, guys, I don't actually really know what I'm doing here. I'm just building something. Like, I don't know whether any of this is any good. You guys can help me deconstruct it next time or build something bigger or something new. I don't know. But, okay, right. No, this is all open. All right, that's good. I, I was hoping it would be. Um, is there not a way to make a, make a bigger room? Or is it all, like, quite small? I know you can build upwards as well, so we'll be doing that. I guess we'll just build as much as we can on this. So, another one of these here. Or, do we take that out and we put a... Nah, that's fine. We'll go with that. Um, let's continue this one over here then as well. Don't no, want to construct that. Oh, we can't. We're actually out of uh, out of materials now. So we'll have to go ahead and get some. I can show you guys how that works. We've actually got enough. Uh, do that. So you, right, I'll show you. You get the metal salvage, and then you then come over here. And um, as you guys will see here, I'm gonna do go over and go inside of the escape pod. You can just quickly click on the fabricator, click resource, basic material, and titanium up at the top there when you have some metal salvage on you, and you get fuck close of it. Easiest way to build a base possible, guys. Easiest way. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, but yeah, it's really easy. Um, loads of titanium really quickly, but yeah, we're going to finish off what I want to do for the base build today. So basically as much as I can do, um, for whatever this base build is, really. I don't actually know what it is, so, you know. And then we'll then actually get onto this radio transmission, as you guys can see up in the, uh, the top there. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue building it's this this thing, this something. We don't actually really know what it is yet, but it's a, it's a random ass base. But we're going to continue. And then we'll, uh, we'll work on something else after this. Because we could have a, hat a hatch here and a hatch here, can't we? I mean, we could do. But, I, I don't know. Can we put a multi... not a multi-purpose. Um... That is what it's called, but no. Put a T compartment there that connects all of them. We can. Would that actually... No, it doesn't connect with any of them. Mm. It's actually annoying. I would really have hoped it would, but it doesn't. But I'm guessing these have to have uh, compartments on them for it to do that. So maybe then, if I deconstruct all of these... Uh, I deconstruct them over here. And if I put, like, just these down... Like that there. And then another one over here. And then... Is, it, is this like more open? It's got to be. There's all like connections everywhere now. Alright, let's go in. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit there. Yeah, I feel like this is more open, isn't it? I don't know. I feel like this is better, yeah. Alright, we'll go with that. Um... What else would make sense? So, I guess along here we're going to have to have one like that. Can we go? We can have upwards ones, can't we? There is an upward one, isn't there? It's this one, yeah. Vertical base connector. I want to see how this works. So, just have something else with it? Like a multi purpose room or something? Hmm. What do you have to have to that, make that work then? I think it's going to be saying quite fancy, isn't it? Alright, you guys, you guys can tell me about all this down below. Because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to this. So, yeah, we can we can rebuild all this quite quickly um, when it comes down to it. But, but yeah, right now I have no idea what I'm doing. So, you guys can teach me about this. I guess we go with a normal one or do we just go with a bendy one? I guess we go with the bendy one. <laughs> Let's say, guys, no idea what I'm doing. But, uh, but yeah. And I guess from here, we could actually just go with simple one-way ones, one there, one there. Like I said, guys, I don't really know what, uh, what I'm doing here, so you guys can tell me down below what I actually need to be doing with this thing. Because as far as I can see right now, 
All that I'm doing is building something that looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool to me, alright? <laughs> alright, so that's that's where I'm going to leave the base today, unless we've got a lot more materials. We have enough for two more placements. Alright. We'll place two more things, and that will be a connector like that. And a connector exactly the same on this side. Okay. So, that's the base so far, guys. I have no idea how to build bases properly in this game, alright? So that is that is said base. Um, hopefully it's not too bad, alright? <laughs> hopefully you guys don't think it's too bad. But that's that's the base so far, so yeah. Alright, so let's let's go back to the back to the life pod, because that's that's still gonna be our main base operation, the life pod, it's way more important right now. <laughs> it's actually got oxygen in it, so it's actually working. Um, and I guess we're gonna play this, this radio message. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright. So. That's all So they are 1,000 meters away, guys. That's further than I've ever gone. It's a bit risky. Especially with only 84 power. Do you know I could be there as well? Like, that's far down as well. It's 300 meters deep. That's further than I can go. I actually can't go to that. I physically cannot go to that. Um, so that's that's that screwed up. So, hmm. I guess one thing I also want to figure out is how to get the seam off because I was I said I'd get that in the next episode. Oh, we don't want to pick it up. I wanted to throw it out still, but I want to figure out how to actually like get it because I think it might be a blueprint. I'm not sure. Is it a blueprint? The seam off? It's got to be. Ingredients unknown. So. I guess I've got to find the ingredients. And I feel like it's near the Aurora, so... Let me go try and find that. That would be kind of useful. We need to get ourselves some bladder fish as well, so that we can eat. And, uh, not, not even eat, actually. Drink, really. And when we go back to base, we'll, uh, we'll drink all of these up. Take some peepers as well, because it's, uh, peeper creepers. Not exactly an issue, is it? Might as well as well we can. More bladder fish. Alright. Let's look for some fragments for some things, alright? Let's do this. Let's go near the big ass thing that I don't like. Where the oh, I'm going near the Aurora. I was hoping I was, but at the same time, I'm hoping I'm not. You know? I don't want to, but at the same time, I don't, I don't want to attach you at all, but at the same time, I kind of do. Need to. It's different to want, I guess. <laughs> Completely different situation, guys. I'm just going to try and find some fragments, I guess. Grav trap. We'll scan that, I guess. I've not got one of them. Oh, okay. I've got half progress on that. That's still locked. That's locked. There's nothing in there. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Um, anything inside of here? Also, guys, I'm sorry about the steam messages that I'm getting. They're very randomised. I'm not even messaging the person back, I'll message him back afterwards. <laughs> Little swimming bastards. Well, I'll check that in a second. How far away from that? Alright, not even far at all. Alright, we're fine here. Um, is that Seaglide? I've already got that. I guess we'll just get the, uh, shit out of it, so just so it's gone that way. Now I don't have to worry about it, but there's only one thing we're after, and that is literally the seam off, so I don't know how to obtain that. Um, I can't tell you if I don't know. Oh, red detection. Let's get out of here. So I can't actually find it if it is over that way because of the rad from, uh, 
that big old motherfucker. So it's actually going to be kind of hard um, to get it. So I guess you guys can tell me down below how the hell to find that. But maybe what I could do in the meantime is actually try and figure out how to uh, get power to my my new home. <laughs> my new homely little place. I also wonder whether I can chuck these locker containers in there. I'm going to try that. I didn't grab one of these things up and try that. So if I grab them up, like, can I grab them? Uh, oh, you got to make it empty to pick it up. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Wow. I thought you'd better pick it up when there's stuff in it. There we go. Right, we got it. Oh, bit confusing there. Alright. Let's get inside of the, uh, our base. And let's see if we can throw this in there. Oxygen right, we can't. Offline. So how the hell do I do I get oxygen? Do I just put a repair tool against this and go ham with it, or is there like a certain way I have to do it? I might actually die here. What the fuck. There we go. All right, we made it. It's fine. So I guess it's got to be a certain thing that you got to do. So if I look in my my blueprints, um, five five mesh. No, I doubt it. It could be a power cell. Would that be a, th be a thing to fix this? So floating air pump. We need to find that. Um, base attached pump. Pumps oxygen from a power attached to... No. Um, I don't know. Your Jack stepped his tank at the bottom there. I don't know. I'm gonna leave and go over this way again. What's the point where I actually know what to do now in today's episode? Because I don't know how to get the seam off and stuff. I wonder if there's any more radios. Right, no more radios. Right, let's look on here. Is there anything on here that we can do to possibly make it better? Right, don't want to do any more metal salvage. We've got enough of that. Copper wire, we're also fine on water. We're not so fine on so We'll do some water. Alright. Uh, water. You guys can actually tell me down below how to get the seam off because I have no idea at this point. Um, is there like a certain life pod I'll go to to get it or something? I don't remember. Um, we'll have to craft a rad suit, something like that. Is there something like intelligent I've got to do that I don't know about yet? So, yeah. I don't, I don't know, guys. You guys might want to tell me that down below. If I can get some creep, creep vine, I can get a rad suit. Is that like worth it? Is that like a thing I need right now? I don't know whether it is because no, I don't actually need to go near the Aurora yet. Unless that's where the steam off stuff is. So get an aquarium and glass of titanium. Should I do it? Stick it in the new base. <laughs> nah, it's practically pointless. All right, we'll, we'll, ha we'll have some of this water anyway. Um, let's consume all of it because why not and we'll put the water locker back out here with this one where the hell did it even throw it oh it's there alright no right it's going to sink a whole bunch uh, we'll put all that copper in there and salt titanium alright guys I don't know what else to do in today's episode so yeah, I mean, I guess I could show you where I got all of the stuff from. <laughs> I guess I could show you where to get the lead from now. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'll then probably end today's episode. It's a pretty of a creepy area, actually, where you have to go to get the lead. And um, without the steam off, it is actually quite a hard thing to do, not going to lie. So yeah, you just have to go in a certain direction for a long length of time, and then you'll eventually get relatively close to this area that's just open. That bastard's now chasing me. He won't chase me for very long, look. He's got me already. But you see this huge drop off here, and then you then see uh, a huge area of redness. And inside this huge area of redness right here is where uh, all of the salt deposits and stuff are. So, yeah, you just kind of go down here and you'll you'll find big rocks like these with stuff all over them. And then you can then loot all of that, and you'll find the salt deposits all over it. And these motherfuckers down here, listen to the noise they make. They're ridiculous. You ready? You, can you hear that? Did you see how small that thing was? Man, a noise the bloody bastard makes, and he chases you and all. He doesn't, doesn't give up. Not like the other ones. He'll chase you forever, mate. I'm telling you. Oh, he's given up eventually, but you know. 
I also found out that those big motherfuckers, the huge ass things, are actually kind of friendly. So, they're not friendly, but they're not bad. So that's that's a that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, but yeah, you go into one of these red zones here, and these kind of swim around. And you see these like big ass pillars, and then when you go to one of these pillars, um, you can get the is it is it sandstone deposits off of them? I'll see if I can find them for you guys. So you guys can see what I mean, but the power is running low on this uh, signal. Like, yeah, these things, these big motherfuckers, they're actually kind of friendly. They make a load of noise though, and it's, it's bloody annoying. I don't know if they're like worth having at the end of the game. I'm not really sure how that works, but yeah. You get this, you're going to get some gold. Uh, you can get lead out of that as well, but I'll go up and show you one of these guys. Look at them. They're pretty insane, not going to lie. Look at them, man. Huge. Huge. Absolutely huge. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, kind of scary as well. But they're they're friendly, so that is uh, that is a good thing. But we're gonna go back to base, listen to this last radio call, and then I will end today's episode for you guys. So yeah, let's head back to base and hopefully not die by like a stalker or something. Cause that'd be really pathetic. Now I've just gone up to one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> let's be honest, how pathetic would that be? <laughs> be really bad. I'm not even gonna lie. Everything's spawning in front of me because I have like a low um, view distance and stuff on right now because I kind of have to because I'm recording and my, my game sucks. <laughs> well, my, my computer sucks actually, it's not the game. It's, uh, it's recording at a high FPS. Well, it's recording at 30 frames, but it's like recording and lowering my FPS on the game, so that kind of sucks. Gives me a bit of lag here and there, quite a bit actually sometimes, but that's fine. But it doesn't help that I've got a bit of motion blur on though, does it, let's be honest. Alright, anyway, let's go up into here. And uh, this is this last radio call, and then I'll then end the video. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Alright, that's a slightly better message than the last one he sent. He's uh, he's going to come down and help us, apparently. But uh, we all know that doesn't happen. Um, if you know anything about the game, you'll know that he definitely doesn't help us. But anyway, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, remember to smash that like button. Comment down below how the hell to get the goddamn seam off because I have no idea how to get it and leave a sub on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out everybody.